us can have in the future. You see, sitting behind me is a group of students unmatched in their ability to overcome adversity. Many of them have already dealt with challenges, a new language, an unfamiliar culture, a demanding academic workload, and everything else that goes along with being a high school student. And when I came here as a seventh grader, I would never have imagined standing in front of all of you today. But at Solbury, I was able to meet these outstanding people, fellow students, teachers, coaches, and administrators, who have challenged and encouraged me. People I will always admire and will work hard to keep in my life. They've all given me the tools to face my future with confidence and to dream about making a difference. I would like to mention some members of the faculty I'm honored to call my friends. To Britta and Jen, I enjoy both your classes equally, and it would be impossible to pick a favorite math teacher with everything that each of you has done for me. Annette and Chris, we all know I wouldn't have made it back from Quebec without the two of you, and Ian and I are sorry for making that trip such a headache. <laughs> Steve, not only have you been my teacher for four of the six years I've spent here, but you've become a trusted friend that I know I can always count on. Besides, without you, Ian would have microwaved my salad that night. <laughs> to Scott, whether or not it was ever official, you've been my closest advisor from the day I set foot on campus. To Steve and Christy, thank you for making me just as much of a history nerd as the two of you. Maybe someday you'll, be help, you'll help me make lesson plans for a class of my own. To Carrie, I'll try to forgive you for using my least favorite picture in the back of the yearbook. But I'll never forget all the times you've listened to me, even when I was on your nerves. And I appreciate everything you've done to keep my ego in check. <laughs> and to my friends and classmates, thank you for being there to make me laugh in the good times and for carrying me through the bad times. I can't imagine I would have gotten this far without all of you. But I digress. Our success to this point can be attributed to those who paved the road and made sure we stayed in our lane. But in three months' time, when we leave for our respective colleges, we will be the ones responsible for our futures. And quite frankly, I'm a little worried about that. <laughs> what will next year be like when I don't have this amazing community to support me? The warm embrace of Solbury, as my mom likes to call it. But I try not to be too sad about that, because I know there's a silver lining to be found here. And I believe that silver lining comes with the understanding that though this moment marks the end of our time here, wherever we go, we take Solbury with us. It's no secret that we live in difficult times. We are entering a world of turmoil and change, but it's times like these that move us to find the greatness within us all. And I urge you to take a moment, step back, and evaluate what lies ahead. Know that we will stumble, and there will be falls, but it's how quickly you rise to your feet that defines you. We can work to ensure that the years to come are as strong as the years that came before. We owe that to all the wonderful people who have helped us reach this point. We know this work won't be easy, but I'm not concerned about that now, because I know that Solbury has left each and every one of us prepared for the challenges we are sure to face. In the end, there comes a time when we must choose between what is right and what is easy, when we must decide which path to take. I have no doubt that we will rise to that challenge as we usher in the next chapter in our common story. Never doubt your courage, strength, or conviction. No matter what we choose to do, be it on the smallest stage or the largest, know that we have the ability to change the world. I'm not talking about blind optimism here, but a firm conviction that there are better days ahead. What we know, what we have seen, is that in our world, nothing is out of reach. Remember as we begin the next part of our lives that it is not you, but us. Remember that we are all in this together. What we have already achieved gives us hope for what we can and must accomplish tomorrow. And in a world when we are often bound only in tragedy, let us find inspiration not through that sadness, but through the hope for a new day. A new day when we can all work together to solve the problems that lay before us. We cannot afford to be observers. We must willfully participate in our world. Let us not look outside ourselves for inspiration, but let us look within. William Ernest Henley once wrote, in the fell clutch of circumstance, I have not winced nor cried aloud. I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. And so, with an eye to our futures and a 
nod to our past. I offer my congratulations to the Silver School Class 2010.